Napoleon Bonaparte, one of history's most iconic and controversial figures, is remembered for his military genius, administrative reforms and dramatic rise to power. Born on August 15, 1769 in Corsica, a Mediterranean island, Napoleon's life is a story of ambition, conquest and power. In this video, we will explore the life of Napoleon Bonaparte, from his humble beginnings to his eventual downfall as one of the most influential figures in European history. Let's geek. Napoleon's family belonged to the Corsican nobility and they initially lived a modest life on the island. Napoleon received his education in mainland France, first attending a military academy and later the renowned École Militaire in Paris. He continued to excel academically, particularly in mathematics and artillery, where he showed a natural aptitude. His diligent studies were complemented by his voracious reading habits, which included works by Enlightenment philosophers and military theorists. Napoleon's career truly began during the French Revolution, a period of upheaval and social change in France. The French Revolution, which began in 1789, was a period of profound social and political transformation that would reshape France and reverberate throughout the world. Napoleon's role during this era showcased his early military talents and his ability to adapt to the rapidly changing political climate. In 1793, at the age of 24, Napoleon joined the French Revolutionary Army as a second lieutenant. His military career took off quickly, propelled by his intellect, tactical brilliance and unwavering determination. One of the defining moments of this period was his role in the Siege of Toulon. Toulon was a city that had declared itself royalist and was supported by British and Spanish forces. Napoleon played a key role in the successful campaign to recapture the city for the French Republic. Napoleon's success in Toulon brought him to the attention of influential figures in the revolutionary government, including Paul Barra and Augustin Robespierre. His rapid rise through the military ranks continued as he demonstrated uncanny ability to lead and inspire his troops. The return to France and the coup of 18 Brumaire in 1799 marked a turning point in Napoleon's career. With the support of key political figures, including Sieyès and Talleyrand, Napoleon seized power and became one of the three consuls, effectively establishing himself as the de facto leader of France. Napoleon's early experiences during the French Revolution not only demonstrated his military brilliance, but also showcased his political acumen and ambition. This period laid the groundwork for his future conquests and his transformation into one of the most influential figures in European history. In 1804, Napoleon declared himself Emperor of the French, marking the zenith of his power. Napoleon's coronation as Emperor took place in a lavish ceremony at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. During this grand event, he crowned himself, taking the imperial crown from the Pope and placing it on his own head. This symbolic act demonstrated his assertion of power over the Church and his aspiration to be recognised as a legitimate ruler. Napoleon Bonaparte's relentless ambition and military prowess drove the expansion of the French Empire across Europe and beyond. This period, known as the Napoleonic Wars, spanning from 1803 to 1815, saw a remarkable series of military campaigns and territorial acquisitions that transformed the continent's political landscape. The Napoleonic Wars are a pivotal chapter in the annals of European history. Napoleon's first major military success came in Italy. Between 1796 and 1797, he led the French army to victory in Italy in a series of battles against the Austrian Empire and its allies. The Treaty of Campo Formio in 1797 resulted in the territorial gains for France and the establishment of the Cisalpine Republic and the Ligurian Republic. Following further victories, including the Battle of Marengo in 1800 and the Treaty of Luneville, France solidified its dominance in Europe. The treaty recognised the Rhine River as the eastern boundary of France and reaffirmed French control over the Italian territories. Napoleon initiated a system of satellite states in Europe, including the Kingdom of Italy, the Confederation of the Rhine and the Kingdom of Westphalia. These states were ruled by Napoleon's family members or loyal allies and were strategically aligned with France, effectively extending its influence. In the brief period of peace, Napoleon signed the Treaty of Amiens with Britain in 1802, temporarily ending hostilities. However, this peace was short-lived as tensions between the two powers persisted, partly due to the continental system, which was an economic blockade imposed by Napoleon to cripple British trade. It had adverse consequences on European economies. In 1805, together with the Spanish fleet, Napoleon ensued in the Battle of Trafalgar in Spain against the British Royal Navy, led by Admiral Lord Nelson. 
This was a decisive naval engagement that ensured British naval supremacy. Nelson employed a bold and innovative tactic known as Nelson's Touch, where British ships engaged the enemy in close combat. The British victory prevented Napoleon from launching a naval invasion of Britain and secured British dominance at sea, ensuring his naval supremacy. The Battle of Trafalgar costed about 13,000 Franco-Spanish lives and approximately 1,500 British casualties. Again in 1805, Napoleon famously fought in the Battle of Austerlitz in modern-day Czech Republic. Austerlitz is often considered one of Napoleon's greatest victories. Despite being outnumbered, his tactical genius and use of terrain led to a stunning French victory, with Grande Armée suffering only 1,200 casualties as opposed to the 15,000 dead in the Austrian and Russian Brigade. The battle forced the Austrian and Russians to sign the Treaty of Pressburg, ceding substantial territories to France and solidifying Napoleon's power in Europe. One of Napoleon's most significant territorial acquisitions was the Duchy of Warsaw, created from parts of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. This expansion into Eastern Europe marked a shift in its focus from Western to Eastern conquests. Between 1808 and 1814, Napoleon ensued in one of his most costly conflicts during his reign, the Peninsula War. It was a protracted conflict, resulting from Napoleon's occupation of the Iberian Peninsula. The Spanish and Portuguese populations resisted French rule, and this guerrilla war strained French resources and diverted Napoleon's attention from other fronts. Spanish and Portuguese resistance, as well as British support, severely weakened French control over the Iberian Peninsula. The Peninsula War spanned several years, and casualties on both sides were significant, with hundreds of thousands of soldiers and civilians affected. One of the most dramatic and ultimately disastrous campaigns of Napoleon's career was the invasion of Russia in 1812. Napoleon's ill-fated campaign saw the catastrophic destruction of his army due to the Russian winter, logistical challenges and scorched earth tactics employed by Russians, whereby whenever the Russians retreated, they burned the places they left behind. Napoleon's armies had trouble finding supplies and it grew progressively weaker the farther in March. The retreat from Moscow was a turning point in the Napoleonic Wars. Napoleon's Grand Armée, initially numbering over 600,000, suffered catastrophic losses, with estimates of over 500,000 casualties. The majority of these were due to disease, starvation and harsh conditions during the retreat from Russia. This event marked the beginning of Napoleon's decline. The defeats in Russia led to the formation of the Sixth Coalition, consisting of Austria, Prussia, Russia, Sweden and Spain, and the United Kingdom, among others. They joined forces to challenge Napoleon's rule. In 1813, Napoleon took part in the largest battle of his reign, the Battle of Leipzig. Also known as the Battle of Nations, it was a decisive engagement in Germany where a coalition of European powers defeated Napoleon. It was the largest of the Napoleonic Wars and the coalition's victory forced Napoleon to retreat from Germany. The battle led to the dissolution of the Confederation of the Rhine and resulted in a significant territorial reconfiguration in Central Europe. The Confederation of the Rhine was a coalition of German states under French influence, effectively dismantling the Holy Roman Empire. Many German rulers became allies of Napoleon, solidifying his control over large parts of Central Europe. The coalition forces eventually overcame Napoleon's armies in 1814 in the War of the Sixth Coalition. Napoleon's forced abdication led to his exile to the island of Elba. However, Napoleon escaped from exile in Elba in 1815 and rallied support for a brief return to power known as the Hundred Days. He landed in France with a small group of loyal followers. His return was met with a surge of support from both the military and the French people. Napoleon raised a new army and embarked on the Waterloo campaign, seeking to re-establish his rule in France. The campaign culminated in the famous Battle of Waterloo in Belgium, where Napoleon faced the combined forces of the Duke of Wellington from Britain and Prussian Field Marshal Blücher. The coalition forces decisively defeated Napoleon, which spelled the end of his rule, and he was subsequently exiled to the remote island of St Helena, marking the final chapter in his tumultuous career. St Helena was a location chosen to ensure his isolation and prevent further escape attempts. His captivity on St Helena was marked by strict surveillance and living conditions that were far from luxurious. During his exile, Napoleon wrote his memoirs, reflecting on his life and career. Napoleon Bonaparte passed away on St Helena Island on May 5, 1821 at the age of 51. The exact cause of his death remains a subject of debate, with theories ranging from stomach cancer to arsenic poisoning. His death marked the end of an era and brought closure to one of the most significant and turbulent chapters in European history.
The era of Napoleon as Emperor of the French was characterized by both great achievements and costly mistakes. His impact on France and Europe during the period is undeniable as he left a legacy of military conquest, administrative reform and the spread of revolutionary ideas. However, the consequences of his relentless expansionism and conflicts would lead to his eventual downfall and exile. The Napoleonic Wars caused a century of conflict and change. They were marked by their complexity and historical significance on the continent's political, social and military landscape. The legacy of these conflicts endures as a testament to the power of ambition, nationalism and diplomacy in shaping the course of history. Napoleon left behind an incredible legacy. Among Napoleon's most enduring and positive contributions is the Napoleonic Code, formerly known as the Code Civil des Français. This legal system serves as a model for civil law in many countries, emphasizing principles such as equality before the law, protection of property rights, and religious tolerance. It remains a cornerstone of modern legal systems and an embodiment of his commitment to rationalizing and codifying law. Napoleon's rule brought about a series of significant administrative reforms, streamlining the bureaucracy, improving tax collection, and introducing efficient governance. His emphasis on meritocracy and centralized administration continues to influence modern government structures. He initiated infrastructure projects such as roads and canals, which not only improved transportation, but also boosted economic development. In 1800, Napoleon established the Bank of France, which provided a stable currency and centralized control over finances. This financial institution played a crucial role in stabilizing the French economy. Napoleon's military tactics and strategies revolutionized warfare in the 19th century. His use of artillery, rapid maneuvering and divisional organization became a model for subsequent military leaders. The Napoleonic Square and the Corps system are just a few examples of his military innovation. The Napoleonic Square, for example, was a defensive formation designed to provide protection and stability against mounted attacks. The infantry square typically consisted of four sides, with each side formed by a line of soldiers. The soldiers on the sides would stand shoulder to shoulder, while the soldiers within the square could be organized in multiple ranks, usually three or four deep. The soldiers within the square would fix their bayonets on their muskets to deter cavalry from getting too close. The bayonets created a barrier of sharp points around the square, making it a dangerous prospect for the charging cavalry. The officers and the regimental colours were positioned in the centre of the square, providing a focal point for the soldiers and ensuring that they could quickly receive orders and maintain their formation. The primary purpose of the square was to repel cavalry charges. Horses were often reluctant to charge into the dense formation of the bayonets, and if they did, they would likely be impaled or injured. The soldiers on the sides of the square could also fire their muskets at their approaching cavalry, further deterring them. While Napoleon sought to establish a European empire under French dominance, his conquest inadvertently stirred nationalist sentiments across the continent. The concept of a unified nation-state driven by shared language and culture became a potent force in the 19th century, leading to the unification of Italy and Germany and numerous independent movements. Napoleon's patronage of the arts and culture had lasting impact on European cultural heritage. He supported the Louvre Museum and its acquisition of numerous artworks, which remain on display today. His reign also witnessed the flourishing of neoclassicism in art, architecture and literature. Although his authoritarian rule often contradicted the principles of the French Revolution, Napoleon's policies inspired notions of meritocracy, secularism and equality, which influenced future political ideologies and leaders. Napoleon's leadership style continues to be studied by military academies and business schools alike. His ability to inspire loyalty, delegate authority and make decisive decisions underlines lessons in leadership and management. Napoleon's life and career have left a lasting mark on world history. He is admired for his military tactics, reforms and contributions to the spread of the Napoleonic Code across Europe. At the same time, he is criticised for his authoritarian rule, ruthless expansionism and the tremendous loss of life caused by his wars. Napoleon Bonaparte's life is a complex and multifaceted story of ambition and power, filled with dramatic highs and lows. His impact on France and Europe, both during and after his rule, is undeniable, making him one of the most studied and debated figures in history.